Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to a new game in the lineup. This one's called Spell Force Shadow of the Phoenix. It's actually the third expansion to the well-known game Spell Force. Now it's a little bit older, but it comes around it comes out at about the same time as Besieger. And the reason I started it is because unfortunately, um, Besieger is no longer compatible with any of the Windows operating systems. So I wanted to play a good sort of uh, an oldie but goodie RTS that I could sort of get into. Or RPG. This game's sort of a mixture between the two, and I'm not really sure what it's like because I, ha I haven't ever played it before. But I saw the preview of it on Steam, and it looked really interesting. Uh, Spell Force 3 is actually super popular on YouTube right now, and I sort of wanted to play it, but I wanted to sort of work up to it um, because I just felt like it wouldn't be right if I just skipped straight to the main thing. I hate the lighting in here, but I'm just gonna have to live with it. Alright, so without further ado, we have the regular campaign, the Arin campaign, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, the Phoenix campaign, and free game mode, multiplayer, options, credits, and exit. So let's start out with the regular campaign and see how it, see where it goes. Uh, let's see. Oh, my screen went black for a second. Not sure what that's about. only does it when I put my cursor over a new character. Hang on, let's see if I can... Uh, tab. This is around the time of old uh, Elder Scrolls. Like Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, terrible. Hold up. That guy's cool looking. <laughs> uh, let's see. Abilities, light combat arts, heavy combat arts, range combat, white magic, elemental magic. Wow. Mind or black magic, death, necromancy, or curse. Oh. Huh. Light combat arts. Hold on. Light combat arts deal with light, quick weapons and armor that allows for freedom of movement to attain higher levels. Good dexterity and agility are required. I see. Okay. Heavy combat arts. Heavy combat art is the ability to master large and powerful weapons and wear heavy armor and shields to attain higher levels where very high levels of strength and stamina are required. Ranged combat. Ranged combat allows for mastery of bows and crossbows. To reach higher levels, a level of dexterity and solid strength are required. White magic. White magic is used to sustain strength. Higher levels can be reached by very high levels of wisdom and good amounts of intelligence. Ooh. Elemental magic is dedicated to controlling the elements of fire, ice, and earth. High intelligence and wisdom are required to reach higher levels. Mind magic. Mind magic is used to influence the spirit, either positively or negatively, to reach higher levels. Very high charisma and relatively high intelligence are requisite. Black magic is used to destroy and weaken. To reach higher levels, a very high level of intelligence and relatively high wisdom are required. I see. Let's go with heavy combat arts on this one. I don't know. I'm a light combat kind of arts kind of guy. A deal light, quick weapons, armor that allows for freedom of movement. Uh, I just, uh, I never, I never pick, I never pick tanks in games like this, and all my, all of my friends always think I should for some reason, and I'm just not a tank type of person. Large blunt weapons, heavy armor, shields, stats, large blade weapon, large blunt weapons. Okay, the ability to use the large bladed weapons with had the highest damage values, such as the large one. Ability permits the use of blunt weapons with the highest possible destructive power. The weapons include one and two-handed hammers, clubs, or stabs. Heavy armor. This ability enables the wearer of the heavy armor in most during battle. Shields. Mind magic. Ranged combat. Hmm. Bow. Oh, oh, I see. Specialization is bow or crossbow. Specialization is life, nature, or boons. Elemental magic. Fire, ice, earth. Woo. Mind magic, enchantment, offensive or defensive, and black magic, death, necromancy, or curse. Wow. I really want to use that necromancy and see if I can actually raise things. The wielder of necromancy can summon creatures from the realm of the undead and draw his foe's life energy and bestow it upon himself. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. What is nature? The, white, the magic of nature permits taking control of animals as well as curing poison of, or disease. Boons. Blessing strengthen and improve allied units, giving a great great advantage in battle. They can also be used against the undead. Oh, man. What if I went with, let's see, fire. 
Fire magic is an aggressive magic mainly used in the destruction of enemies. It encompasses the spells with the highest damage and can be used to summon to summon the aid of fire elementals. Douche. Mick. Fallen. Yep, Douche McFallen. That's his name. <laughs> Sweet. Prologue is an introduction into the game and contains story elements. In the prologue, you will also get a lot valuable, lot valuable information, and it is highly recommended when playing the first time. You better believe it. It all began with the discovery of the old fire oh. and the secret of the convocation. Okay. Thirteen mages blinded. Driven by the greed for divine power. Ooh. And under the bondage of the circle, their armies unleashed death and destruction. I haven't been paying attention. Bonded with the power of ancient runes. What were they fighting over? Rings? Ancient Cursed ruins? Cursed to eternal life and eternal death. Mages 13? How many? Until the last day of the old era had dawned. Old era? Ooh! <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Orkies. Orkies. I'm gonna include, um. Oh, man. Dawn of War Dark Crusade 40k. As well. So have you come to witness the day of my ultimate triumph, poor old man? Oh. No. To witness your downfall. Oh, push him off the ledge. <laughs> push him off the ledge. He's a douche. You cannot win. The convocation is a lie. It will destroy all of us. So, uh... Oh, he's a creep. <laughs> He'd be creeping. <laughs> Get him, Orkies! Oh, wow. Cool spells. Orkies! You shouldn't have come. You really think I care a fig for your whimpering? No! Oh man, an epic clash! Boop. Oh no! Ooh. I'm very glad this actually works, cause um. The Lord of the Rings RTS won't play, and neither will be Seizure, so it's nice to actually have something from that day and age that will actually play. Even if it's old and doesn't get me views, I don't care. I just, I want to play it for the, you know, people that know I like the classic RTSs. I mean, I could easily play, you know, PUBG or the latest Call of Duty, but it just wouldn't be the same, because it would be so obvious that I'm just trolling for views. Like, oh, watch me, I'm playing the latest first-person shooter, you know? I'm live-streaming it, not that there's anything wrong with that, but... I, oh, dude, look at this fight, boom! <laughs> uh oh this is a good opening movie! <laughs> what was the budget for this? <laughs> not the book! <laughs> Dude, you hear this music? Can I keep this in the episode? Da, 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 da. Oh, it's a game of Quidditch. Who's gonna get the snitch? Come on, get it! See, you couldn't make that joke when this game first came out. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Showed it thick. <laughs> Oh, well, look at me! The screen's like my camera's gone completely black. Yeah. Oh, not. <laughs> yeah. They just die. One arrow. Tahira. 
Dude, so cool. I wish my screen would come back on. Rune sent us. He needs the power of the Rune Warriors. The Northern Realms are in danger. Yeah, it's Rune just knows blank. I will never serve a Circle Mage again. My powers are exhausted. I have seen quite enough misery and bloodshed. Rowan will have to look for somebody else. Ah, see, she must That's be like a he white sent mage. Us. A very special rune lies concealed somewhere in these lands. We here to search for it. But we were attacked and Lev is wounded. He needs your help. We need your help. I see. So she must be hardly a friend of the forest. Very well. I will help you. Or just a soldier. Where is Lev? I lost sight of him somewhere behind the gate there. I hope he's still alive. These damned orcs. Hey, don't insult the orcs. You stay here by my hut. Thank you, Tahira. It's good to have you back with us. Tahira, that's a nice name. So do I control her? Is my camera Welcome ever going to come back on? Welcome to the world of spell force. Hang on, let me try uh, pause In this prologue, pause. we will explain the game. Okay, so let's see. What are we what are we doing? We're trying to heal this guy here. The wounded Lev. I have a shield now that I got. Hey buddy. I should have stuck with my books. <laughs> I hope you haven't forgotten your healing arts, Tahira. Help me. Ah. Please heal me. Okay. So heal you. Select your avatar, approach Lev, and click on him with the right mouse button to begin the dialogue. Oh, I already got this. Don't you worry. Wish I could heal him you more. Have a Come healing on, spell heal more. Spells. If you wish to use a magic spell, <coughs> there are two possibilities. Oh, did I accidentally heal myself? The Dang simplest it. possibility is offered by the click and fight system. To use this, select Lev. Under your avatar's portrait button, all meaningful actions there we of the selected target will That'll be sure to get him that time. The blue there we go. is the symbol Perfect. for the healing spell. Click on the symbol to heal Lev. Well, let's talk. I the healed you. The fight system can be used in the same way. I thank you, Tahira. There we go. Without you, I would have been lost. I thank Aonir that Kaile found you. What happened, anyway? You're seeking a rune? Yes, a special rune. Rowan is certain it must be somewhere in the ruins of Ankbrunt. But the Ankbrunt. ruins are just swarming with orcs. We had to flee. Only Joshua managed to hide. This is perfect. Kyle knew where your house was. That's why we fought our way through to you. Please, you must <laughs> help us. <laughs> hmm. All right. I will fetch your rune. You stay here and recover for a while. As you command, take good care, Tahira. Here, this spell scroll. I captured it from <laughs> His one of the don't even move. Maybe it will be of some use to you. Keep following the trail. Perhaps you'll run across Joshua somewhere. May the gods grant that he is still alive. Dude, the alternative sweet. to this is the classic method. Select your avatar, then click the healing spell in the <laughs> action bar, and then click on the wounded <coughs> Lev in the game world. I already did that. Okay, Speak so to Lev again. I already did that. Again, again? Thanks for healing me. What? You have received additional experience ah, points in okay. the magic spell scroll from Lev. It contains the fireball spell. Okay, how do I apply that? Once you have collected a specific number of experience points, your avatar will move up one level, will become stronger, and will be able to learn new skills. You receive experience points by defeating opponents and successfully solving quests. Can't when you die, water. you lose a small amount of I experience won't die. points every time. Open. Next, Open the gate. your avatar should learn the magic spell you have just received. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open gate. your inventory and click on the symbol for spell book. This one? No, that's sort. Oh, oh, oh. Spellbook? Magic Fireball? On the left, you will see the inventory Got of the it. magic spell scrolls. On the Got right, it. your spellbook, and above it, the so called magic memory, uh -huh. with nine free spaces at the current moment. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, is there the nine? Uh huh. 
Click on the scroll in the inventory so to place it on that the mouse pointer. Active. Then click any free space in your spell book. Mm hmm. Did it. You now have transferred a new spell into your spell book. You can enter any number of spells into your spell book, but you can only simultaneously memorize and use ten of those magic spells in your magic memory. Put. Learn the fireball. She's a spell super by Pokemon. Clicking on the fireball symbol in your Come spell on, book, and then up. click on any free space in your magic memory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Magic memory, got it. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 get. Okay, check mark. We're good. Now close your inventory. Got it. Fireball. Ah, oh, I have to select an actual target. Come on, where's Follow a goblin? Follow the path until you see the Minotaur. Oh, not a Minotaur. I can't handle that. That's, that's too much. <laughs> Use the fireball spell to defeat the Minotaur. Where is he? Where's the Minotaur? I'll defeat him. Wait, where'd he go? Did I miss him? I missed the Minotaur. Where is he? Minotaur. Oh. Oh my. Hey, hold up. Come on. You're lined up there. It's fireball. Do it. Bang! Oh, I should probably use that again. Oh, I can't. It's out of... Oh, oh my. Dodge. <laughs> to specific types of magic. Your avatar can also use... I backed up and he died. ...the course of the game to protect himself better from magic attacks. All right. Okay, so Behind I have Behind the next gate, a fire elemental creature awaits for you. Oh. This creature is completely resistant to your fire magic. Continue along the path. Oh crap. <laughs> fire elemental. Try to use your magic spell against the fire elemental creature. Why would I do that? If the creature has resisted a magic spell, you will see white bouncing sparks. After ah. this, defeat the fire elemental creature it's Smack! 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 <laughs> that thing's noises. <laughs> it's like ripping a <laughs> Oh and four objects. Take possession of these. Gotta remember to loot. Always remember to loot. Ooh, Rune Fighter Drago, level four. Okay. Uh, Hornbow, Filthy Orc Blade, Cloth Gambeson, and Fine Cloth Pants. Sweet. He was so loaded. Beside your main character, you now have up to five heroes at your disposal. The heroes are your strongest allies and may have magic powers. The hero's rune you just found mm. represents a skilled long-range fighter. The rune establishes the hero's characteristics and abilities. In the course of the game, you will find more runes and also replace some of the older runes. Oh, like this? To summon a hero, Sweet. you must use the hero's rune in your rune table, which uh -huh. you always have with you. Uh -huh. And then find a hero's monument for the Light summoning combat, procedure. Arts, hero's monument. Is it, I can Open use either one of these, I and think. Go to the category rune board. Got it. What's next? On the left side, you uh -huh. will see your currently unused runes, and on the right, the runes ended in the rune board. That's here. In the upper half of the rune table, you will find the spaces for the hero's runes, and below, the spaces for workers' runes, subdivided into light and dark races. Light and dark races, racist. Depending on which level your avatar has, you can apply up to five runes at once. Click on the rune of the hero and place it in one of the empty fields of the rune tablet located at the top. Okay, I got it. Now you will have to arm the hero. You should have received a bow, a dagger, and two pieces of armor. Oh, Go into the inventory and select the category Equipment. Okay... Character equipment. 
Uh huh. This is the on the hero. right side of the window. Ah, you will now see two dragon. portraits. Select the lower portrait and give your hero the four new objects from the left side of the inventory. Sweet. The bow must go into his left hand. That's the space Wait. on the right hand side. Oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The bow must go into his left hand. If your avatar or a hero cannot use that's his right hand, Oops. it will be marked with a red background. Close your inventory. Shut up. Swap not allowed. Okay, so maybe I had it in the correct area the first time. It said it had to go in his left hand. That's the spot on the. Oh okay. uh, yeah, if he's standing towards, if he's standing away from me, that's his left side. Okay, so now uh, check mark. Sweet, he's equipped. Is he gonna come help me? Follow the path to the great monument. This is the hero's monument. All right, I like first per. Uh, I like third person view instead of the isometric view. This one. I don't know, I kind of like it. Ooh, a new bind stone. Am I just going to go there? Yep. Awesome. Uh, let's see, i got to click on the bind stone and select to bind with the bind stone. And then, okay. And then keep going. Sweet, young do. The hero's monument. Go right up to the hero's monument, select it, and click on the rune symbol in the action bar. Uh-huh. Claim monument. Oh, I lit all the fires. Aside from the hero monument, the symbol of a hand appears in the selection window. You can inform yourself of the rune power of your avatar. Rune mm, fire dragon. Every time you call upon a hero, uh -huh. or later on, even a worker, you lose a bit of your rune power, and calling upon them takes a bit longer every time you do. Rune power regenerates itself automatically in the course of time. Dude, that's sweet! Now you can summon the hero. Select the monument and click on the symbol for the hero. He's here! <laughs> After a few seconds, the hero should appear. He's got a flag in his face, but he's here. A second portrait button for your new hero should now appear in the upper left. Uh -huh. You can now command the hero. Sweet. If you want to select several units simultaneously, you can hold down the left mouse button in the game world and drag a frame around both characters. As soon as you release the left mouse button, oh the selection God. is established. Standard RTS. You can combine combat units to form groups. To do this, select the units and click on one of the okay, small buttons. Okay, we can skip that part. That's well known. Middle, or hold down the control key and select a number key from one to six for the respective group. Yes, they're all well. Were you able to find out where the rune is, Joshua? In the orc's camp. I think it is in possession of their leader. Be careful. Those beasts are tough. You'll have to prepare yourself well. Once you've conquered them, bring the rune to me. I will turn it over to Master Rowan. Mm -hmm. You should now have received a quest. Open your inventory and select the quest book page. Additional workers and send them to the construction site with a right mm -hmm. click. Okay. Should you want construction to progress faster. Ah. Now select some other workers and build a quarry near the Ready stone resources and a mine near the iron. Oh, okay. Just like procedure. Okay, mine. Uh, let's see, this would be the mine. Hold up. A little bit. Wait, no, no, no. I uh, forget it. Okay, and then you. We're like crisscrossing them now. Uh, quarry, stone quarry. Can I press Z to alter the direction? To work. Nope, apparently not. I'm, I'm sure you can In press something. In each of these resource buildings, up to five workers can advance to the status of so-called craftsmen. Craftsmen Ooh, have craftsmen. and special tools, and are twice as efficient as simple workers. Oh, snap. When you select a finished building, then you can see how many craftsmen are already assigned to this building in the selection window. Uh-huh. When you click an empty symbol, and there is another free worker available, 
He will be assigned to the building. When you click an occupied symbol, a worker will be released. Those workers that can start workers, that would be very good. You there. No, stop. You there before you get back. Let's get cracking then. You there. Help. Okay, everybody's on it. Yeah, they're all on it. Okay, so. Okay, so they're gonna become hunters now? Oh, neat. Oh, it's all full. Because they all help with the building. Oh, snap. They're killing all the wildlife. There, incidentally, this will kill all of the animals. <laughs> okay. Master of the rune? Okay, so he's a he's an artisan now. He can't build buildings anymore. Right. Worker, you, you, you're my last worker left. I need you to stay a worker. Small human headquarters. Off to work. <laughs> you just shot this deer straight through the, through the thing. You're killing all of the wildlife. All the poor baby Bambi deers are dying. Oh. What is this one? Crossbow tower. Defends buildings. Defense buildings. Shoots arrows at enemies in firing range. Forge. Army building fighters. Assign one workers required for production of military units. Smelting works. Small headquarters. Is assigned with one worker. Receives deliveries deliveries from nearby mines and doubles the yield of iron production. Okay. Food store and airy, an era shrine. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's more. But we haven't unlocked those yet. Okay, so, oh, what was this one? Oh, yeah, the forge. Do I need that? Required for protection of military units. Oh, okay, yes. Oh, man, that takes forever. Do I have any other workers? Artisan, artisan, artisan. And artisans can only... Can artisans help build buildings? Understood. Yeah, they can do it. Get in there, woodworkers. Or can they? Nope, they can only cut wood now. That's all they know. Uh, Break's over. Time for work. That sucks. So I gotta keep some standardized workers. Okay, well, this is Spell Force 3, everybody. Uh, hopefully I'm going to make some more progress with the tutorial and get to the regular storyline uh, pretty soon. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try to do some more with this game. It, 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 it's, it's very, it's very besiegerisk. I like it. I really like it. I like the way it looks. Ooh, do I go through here? I wish I could run. But what makes me wonder? Oh, that's one of the orc camps. Okay, well I'll save you that can for next up to one. Five workers to the hunting lodge to collect food faster. The amount of the food you have <laughs> food determines the maximum size of your army. <laughs> oh, believe me. They're, they're getting the food fast. Must show you whom the buildings belong to and if workers are currently active in this building. Uh huh. If you look carefully, you will see that the lake behind the human monument is full of fish. There are also some berry bushes on the bank of the lake, but these serve exclusively as food for elves. Well, that's awesome, but these guys are literally just shooting and killing now all of the deer. Now you should do something to defend yourself a bit. Build two towers in the area around the stone slabs, as enemies might come from this direction. Oh, man. Okay, cool. There's the human mind I, I like I like the scale of everything. It's got a nice feel to it. It's really old school, but I mean, I'm I'm old school. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. If you really enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments that you might have about anything in the comment section below. Like always appreciate it. Until next time, take it easy, my friend.